Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper, and this is part two of my research on cookie jars. So today I'm going to show you cookie jars that sell for over $400 all the way up to $1,800. So if you did not know, some cookie jars can be very valuable, and I want to show you what they are so you can watch out for them. All right, so we are starting out with a name that you saw in the first part of this series. That is McCoy, and this is a really, really cute pastel cookie jar. This is a Brush McCoy cookie jar. You can see the cute little carousel horse sold for $400. And here on the bottom, you can see this one was not marked, and it still was a great sale at $400. The crazy thing is, this seller didn't put horse, they didn't put carousel. There are absolutely no keywords in that except McCoy and cookie jar, and it still sold for $400. All right, this next one sold for just a few dollars shy of that $400 mark, and it is an Elvis Graceland cookie jar. This is a very rare limited edition Elvis Presley Graceland cookie jar. It sold for $395. Here it is up close. You can see it says Graceland. It's got the music notes around the bottom edge. And on the back, you can see it has a little excerpt talking about Graceland and talking about Elvis. And this was a great sale at $395. All right, up next is one from another cartoon that I absolutely loved as a kid growing up, and that is the Flintstones, and this one is of Wilma. This is a rare American Bisque Flintstones Wilma on the phone cookie jar, 11.75 inches. This one sold for $399. It really does not look like Wilma from the front looking at this cookie jar, but here if you look from the side, I can definitely see Wilma's profile. And I did want to show you the bottom of this one because this is another one that was not marked. Up next is a convertible car cookie jar this one was a great sale i do want to point out this one was autographed this is a glenn appleman red convertible cookie jar this one was an auction got 23 bids sold for 403 dollars and 53 cents here you can see that autograph up close and it is dated 1984 and here on the bottom you can see it does say handmade in the usa glenn appleman appleman auto works and a great sale at 403 dollars all right, we ended up part one of this series with the Christopher Radko, and here is another one. This is a really, really cute Halloween Christopher Radko cookie jar. This is a rare Christopher Radko Halloween Ghost Manor House cookie jar, 16 inches. It sold for $450. It is from 2000 here you can see the top of this cookie jar, really cute with the ghost coming out of the chimney. And here again on the bottom, you can see it does clearly say Radco. And this is another one that was made in China. Up next is a cookie jar. This one is not really nostalgic for me, but my 20 year old used to watch iCarly all the time. And this is a cookie jar that was seen on the show iCarly. This is a cookie time cookie jar, Treasure Craft, pre-owned, and they put as seen on Friends and iCarly. It sold for $415. And this one, as you see here on the bottom corner, did have a defect. And then here on the bottom, you can see it is clearly marked Treasure Craft. And that was a great sale at $415 for a cookie jar that had damage. All right, up next is a Disney cookie jar. This one is Beauty and the Beast. 
this is a rare limited edition of 350 cookie jar with bell beauty and the beast disney auctions this one sold for 500 dollars and here on the bottom you can see it does say disney auctions exclusive limited edition of 350 another piece that was made in china and a great sale at 500 dollars this next one is an absolutely beautiful cookie jar of an african-american gospel singer this is an african-american gospel singer art pottery cookie jar from a little co in santa fe this is from 1986 it sold for five hundred dollars and here on the bottom you can see it is clearly marked a little co 1986 and that was a great sale at five hundred dollars all right up next is a great pottery company and that is shawnee this is a Shawnee Brown Smiley Gold Trim Cookie Jar Bank with Black Tapui. This one sold for $495. Look at the little piggies eyelashes. Really, really cute jar here. And on the bottom, you can see this one is not marked and still sold for $495. All right, some more nostalgia for me coming up, and that is with Strawberry Shortcake. Watch for Strawberry Shortcake stuff. I have sold quite a few Strawberry Shortcake items for good money, and this cookie jar sold quite well. This is a vintage Strawberry Shortcake cookie jar. It sold for $500, and here on the bottom you can see clearly made marked strawberry shortcake american greetings corp this one was made in korea and that was a great sale at five hundred dollars all right up next is another mccoy cookie jar and i have to say this one is one of my favorite this is a vintage rare mccoy jack-o-lantern cookie jar this was an auction got 18 bids and sold for 511 dollars and here on the bottom you can see this cookie jar is very clearly marked mccoy and that was an amazing sale at over 500 dollars all right coming up next it's hard for me to believe that this one sold as high as it did and you will see why when you see the title the seller used absolutely no keywords and still got this 500 dollars sale this one just says vintage cookie jar collectibles it was an auction they got one bid for 500 dollars i have to tell you i feel like if they would have filled out that title better they could have got more money so this one has Miss Piggy, it has Kermit, has the chef, and none of that, not even the Muppets, is in the title. Still a great sale at $500. Here you can see those cookie jars up close. I really, really feel this would have sold for more than $500 had the seller put the keywords in the title. All right, up next is a really cute cookie jar of Little Lulu this is a little lulu cookie jar in perfect condition this one was an auction got 36 bids sold for 532 dollars here she is up close you can see on the base it does say little lulu engraved down there and that was a great sale at 532 dollars is a left -hand item and it is of miss pris I got lucky enough, I found some Miss Pris salt and pepper shakers at the flea market and they sold for over $50. So this is definitely a character. If you find anything of her, you definitely want to pick it up. This is a rare vintage 1950s left in ESD Miss Pris. This cookie jar was an auction, got 21 bids, sold for $512.49. And here on the bottom, you can see it is clearly marked ESD Japan, and that was a great sale at over $500. Up next is actually a glass cookie jar, and I think this is the first glass cookie jar, and it might be the only glass cookie jar we are going to see, and it sold for over $500. This is a vintage Bartlett Collins cookie jar white with orange daisies. 
flowers. They did put mid-century modern. This was an auction, got 19 bids, and sold for $560. You found an earring? Do you like it? Yes. You want us to put a hole in your ear so you can wear it? No. No? Okay. This next one is another Miss Pris. It says it's just a cookie jar, but they showed a bunch of stuff photographed, so that kind of makes it a little confusing. I believe they were only offering the cookie jar in this auction, and in my opinion, they should have only shown the cookie jar because people might think they're getting all of these items, and they are not. So this is another Miss Pris cookie jar that sold for over $500. This is the same cookie jar you just saw, but this one sold for $540. I wanted to show you here because they are offering only the cookie jar, yet they showed a picture of all of these Miss Pris items. And I think this could be very, very misleading to your buyers. So I do not recommend doing this, but that was another Miss Pris cookie jar that sold for over $540. Up next is the first you are going to see of cookie jars from the Andy Griffith show. That is another one I used to watch. And I do want to say these cookie jars are autographed. So that did increase the value. There were quite a few of them that had just sold. So I think someone probably got a collection of these that were autographed by Thelma Lou from Andy Griffith show. This is the Andy Griffith show police patrol car autographed by Betty Lynn, AKA Thelma Lou. This one sold for $625. Here on the bottom, you can see that autograph that says Betty Lynn and Thelma Lou. And here on the bottom of the car, you can see this one was a limited edition of 2400 and this one was numbered 487. Dalton is home today. They have teacher work day. They have teacher work day. So he is free of school. So he's in here loving on me and hanging out. All right. All right. Up next is a really, really cool Andy Griffith cookie jar. And this one is a Barney's hat. This is the Andy Griffith show to protect and serve Barney's hat autographed cookie jar. This is another one autographed by Betty Lynn aka Thelma Lou. This one also sold for $625 and you can see it is autographed here on the top of the hat and here's the bottom showing the Andy Griffith show. This one is from 2004 Mayberry Enterprises and a great sale at $625. All right, up next is a Western show. I did, I did not watch this one. This one is a Roy Rogers. This is a Roy Rogers and Trigger ceramic cookie jar, limited edition, 1995 vintage, sold for $495. And here on the back of the cookie jar, you can see it clearly says Happy Trails, Roy Rogers and Trigger. And here on the bottom, you can see it is numbered and it also says it is dated 1995 and Trigger, the horse that made Roy Rogers famous. And that was a great sale at almost $500. All right, up next is Marilyn Monroe. This is a Happy Memories mint cookie jar of Marilyn Monroe, fine porcelain, only 300 made. This one sold for $699.95. Here you can see the bottom as well as the top side by side. And you can see this one was clearly marked limited edition, 164 of 300. It is dated 1995. And this one was made in the USA and a great sale at almost $700. Up next is another Andy Griffith cookie jar. If you see an Andy Griffith cookie jar and it's priced good, pick it up. This is the Andy Griffith Show a Patrol Car Cookie Jar and Box Original Packing Material. It sold for 7 dollars 
$150. This one was not autographed. Here is the bottom of the box. I just wanted to show you. It's an absolutely excellent condition. And here you can see from the side of the car as well as the bottom. This one was shown earlier, but it was not still new in the box with the packing material. That is what made this one sell for so much more and a great sale at $750. Up next is another really, really nice cookie jar by A Little Co. This is Rare Beauty Black Americana Ceramic Cookie Jar a Little Company Santa Fe with the COA. This one sold for $760. And here on the bottom, you can see this one was clearly marked a Little Co. It was a limited edition of 100. So this one was a lower number and that was a great sale at $760. All right, up next is another cookie jar that was attributed to being seen on a TV show. So if you find out your cookie jar was used on the set of a TV show, put it in the title. This next one was seen on The Big Bang Theory. This is a Batman cookie jar, Sheldon and Leonard apartment, limited rare Big Bang Theory Batman cookie jar. It sold for $900. And here on the bottom, you can see this one is clearly marked. It was numbered 339 of 3,500 and it was TM and DC Comics. All right, we are up to our top five cookie jars and they are going to go up to over over $1,800 for a cookie jar. So don't go anywhere. I can't wait to show you. The first one is one of my favorite sets, and it is a set of McCoy Jack-O-Lantern cookie jars. This is a pair of McCoy Pumpkin Jack-O-Lantern cookie jars, and this one sold for $1,081.20 for the two of them. Here you can see them up close. They are in excellent condition and that was a great sale over $1,000. Up next, you had to know there would be at least one with Cookie Monster. This is a Cookie Monster cookie jar vintage. This one sold for $1,259. Classic, cute little Cookie Monster cookie jar and a great, great sale. All right, another cartoon I really love to watch was Popeye, Popeye the Sailor Man. This next one is of Olive. This is a vintage olive oil cookie jar by the American Bisque Company. It sold for $1,400. Absolutely great sale. Here's the bottom. You can see it actually is not marked. And that was a great sale at $1,400. Up next is a cookie jar of Freddy. This one has pretty significant damage to it. And it still sold for $1,400. This is a rare vintage Freddy cookie jar, Gleep Rare. It does say crack or chip. It actually sold for $1,500. I misquoted there at the beginning. And I wanted to show you here, this is a pretty significant chip off of the rim there. It can't be seen very much with the lid on, but still pretty significant damage in my opinion, but still sold for $1,500. All right, we are up to our top selling cookie jar and it is an abdington and i have found abdington pieces but none as cool as this one and it's perfect timing being october this next one is a halloween witch this is an abdington witch cookie jar in mint condition it sold for $1,875 here you can see the top on the side with the cat and the witch riding her broom. And on the bottom, this one is clearly marked Abdington USA. And that is an amazing sale and our top sale of cookie jars at $1,875. All 
all right i hope you enjoyed i hope you have a wonderful wonderful weekend i look forward to seeing you tomorrow over on my catch treasure hunting channel if you haven't joined go over to catch treasure hunting subscribe i put out thrifting videos every saturday so i take you thrifting with me i would appreciate you subscribing if you haven't i look forward to seeing you tomorrow i hope you all have an excellent excellent weekend. I will see you on the next one.